Hello everyone, welcome to another Random Talk Sunday, and today I thought it would be interesting to briefly address a topic that I think is really uh, relevant, at least around this time of year, in particular between May and June, because this is usually the time of year when graduations happen. In particular, college as well as um, high school graduations, which I think are more so within June than in May. Um, and I'm posting this video today because I'm not going to be available to do things on uh, sun or uh, on Sunday. So, without further ado, let me address this topic. Um, graduation. Um, what we know as graduation today started actually a lot earlier than one might think. Um, for example, um, it sort of started uh, within England, actually, Oxford University to be exact, in 1432. Um, this is supposed to be sort of considered the first kind of ceremony uh, that was technically graduation and was sort of academic centered. Um, and basically, back then, the ceremony uh, involved bachelors delivering a sermon in Latin. So, a lot of what we know as education back then was primarily learning about uh, religion and things like that. They did have sciences and arts and things like that, um, but religion was a big... Uh, a big factor within the educational um, system at the time. Um, also, the gowns. If you notice the gowns that um, that uh, people wear throughout graduation, uh, in particular the professors and you know the dean or who, whoever's you know principal, etc. Uh, you'll notice how those are different from the people who are graduating. Um, and that's because, uh, way back in the day, um, back in those times in, uh, England, um, they were, these kinds of garments were used to emphasize sort of, uh, the ranking. And the ranking was often usually through sort of the, the church, uh, order. So you would have, you know, people who were a higher level wearing this kind of a uniform and then other people wearing this kind of a uniform. So... It indicated, you know, sort of their status. Um, so, over the years, we see how eventually graduation carried over into the United States, and it became fairly commercial. I mean, you know, we have like teddy bears and class rings and all this extra stuff uh, given to us sometimes on graduation. Um, and uh, also, the song that actually comes from graduation um, became uh, was was originated from England, hence uh, you know sort of where the beginnings of graduation started. Um, and, and the the song that you hear on graduation, the da 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 da, is called "Pomp and Circumstances." Uh, which did originate from England, and again, I can't emphasize this more, like the garments that you see within the United States are similar to the ones um, within England, and it's the same with this graduation song. It carried over to the United States because a lot of, a lot of uh, culture within England was carried over to the United States. I mean, heck, we, we borrowed the language. It only makes sense. <laughs> Uh, that we would borrow these kinds of traditions and still have them. Um, and the interesting thing, too, is you might be wondering, what does the pointy hat mean uh, as far as someone who's just graduating? Like, what's this garment? Like, what? This is just so weird. Why are we wearing a pointy hat? Well, there's tons of different theories on this. Um... The, the most interesting one that I managed to find was that um, it's like a book. So it's it's square because it's the shape of a book. And you know how the 
tassel is like in the middle or something. You know, it kind of resembles sort of a, a bookmark, you know. Um, and, you know, you think square, like book, means education, whatnot. Uh, so that was the theory that made the most sense to me. Uh, but there's still no confirmation on to where exactly that kind of originated. It's very bizarre and unusual. Like, I mean, I find it very... I just found it so strange, the kinds of things that they would make us wear for graduation. But it's still there. Um, now, as far as my thoughts are to graduation, I mean, man, are the ceremonies long. I mean, they just they just go on forever. Ever. And then listing all the people's names is just, it, it just gets ridiculous um, at times. Uh, as far as graduations are concerned. You know, it's nice when they play the little theme because, you know, everybody knows that one song. The da, 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 da. But um, not only is the presentation kind of long, and again, there's a little bit of a commercialism associated now with graduation. Um, but uh, it's also one of those things where, um, you know, you on the one hand, you feel like you've accomplished something. And then on the other hand, you, 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 you sort of feel like you already accomplished something without the ceremony, you know? Um, so it kind of goes either both ways. I mean, for me personally, I find, I find them to be nice to sort of celebrate the people who are, you know, graduating from wherever. Uh, but at the same time, I think it just kind of goes a little bit too overboard, like, you know, just you know, kind of just overemphasizing things, you know, because there's just other things to life than just education and just a career. Um, and I think, you know, academics try to emphasize it like it's the only thing in life. And it's like, education is so important and blah, 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 blah. And to me, it's like, okay, it's a part of life. Yes. Yes. Educating yourself is a part of life. And, you know, having educational accomplishments, yes, is part of your life. But at the same time, it's it's not everything. Um, you know, and and careers and whatnot, you know, it's like they're, they'll, you know, jobs are going to come and go. It's just, it's just a part of how the economy works. So, I mean, I, 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 I feel like that there's, there's this so, there's just this huge emphasis on it, um, and I just don't treat it with that same amount of emphasis, um, you know, that, oh, it's so great and yay, we should just all, you know, just, you know, be, be so overly proud of ourselves, you know, and just, you know, and I, I just think it kind of, it, it's, it just feels sometimes very like, you know, it just, it just feels like egotistical, like, especially the academic kind of community it just feels like, yeah, we're just so great. Yeah. Woohoo. Class of so-and-so. And yeah, woo, I got my education. I'm smart. You know, um, whereas I don't feel any smarter than when I graduated, you know, I always felt like I, I mean, I gained knowledge. It's just, I don't feel like I became more intelligent, you know? I mean, I always knew that I was going to be at this level, and I was never going to go any further than that. Um, and there's only so much that I can contribute. So, you know, it's just one of those ceremonies where, you know, it's it's nice to have, it's nice to be proud of yourself. But at the other hand, I feel it can just be a little bit too, too overboard and too overly emotional for me. Because, I mean, I don't really have an emo a hugely emotional attachment to it. I was just happy to be done. I was just happy to be done and over with it. <laughs> I was I was glad to be out of there and out of that system. But that's maybe because as far as the university is concerned, I don't feel like um, it's that uh, great as some people make it out to be. Um, but yeah, I think that's really ultimately all I can say for this video. However, if there are any questions, comments, concerns, I'd be more than happy to answer them. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you all have a pleasant day, week, month, and year. And I hope to see you in the next video.